Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next question. So this is the most recent question if you ask me guys. It is asked in GATE CSE 2020, question 26. Okay, so what is the worst time complexity of insertion of n elements into an empty linked list if the linked list needed to be maintained in a sorted order? Okay, so what is the worst time complexity for any type of sorting guys? It is nothing but n square, right? Yes. So if you are inserting n elements, okay, so what will be the thing guys? So to insert a first element, you will insert. There is no issue. So you inserted 100, no issue. So after that new element came, you have inserted it. So where you will insert it, assume it, you inserted it before it. So 100, 200. You are inserting at the start. Okay. So one more element came. You inserted 1000, uh, 10 here. Okay, yes. So again, this is unsorted. So you need to sort it. So in this way, again and again, you need to sort after each and every insertion, you should sort. So unfortunately, you are doing ascending order insertion and the input is given in descending order. So completely opposite way if they are giving. So it will automatically go to the worst case of n square, right? So you need to sort them in a proper way. So that is the reason why the answer will be big go of n square guys. So let me cross check the answer. Yes, it's correct. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? So why it is exactly big go of n square, right? Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. But anyway, I want to give you a small trick also guys. So few of you might be saying that, okay, so how can you directly say that it will take n square number of times? Okay, so a simple idea is if your list is having one item, how many comparisons you should do guys? One comparison. If your item is having two two items, sorry, if you are having two items, you will do one comparison. If you are having if you are uh, having three items, you will be doing two comparisons. So in that way, how many items are there? That much comparisons you should do, right? So basically to sort the list. So that continues until n, right? So we are inserting n elements. Okay, yes. So that is the reason why it continues until n. So if you combine all of them, what will be the result guys? It is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2, right? If you remember the formula. So it is nothing but n square minus n by 2. So if you apply the time complexity for it, you will be getting as n square only, right? So even from that, you can say if you are not interested in saying with respect to the searching algorithms, okay? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea at least with this comparison, right? So basically for each and every operation you need to compare, right? So once you insert an item, you need to compare. Once you insert an item, you need to compare. Once you insert an item, you need to compare. So in that way, right? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us discuss the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.